radio how it's supposed to be heard. It's the Baker Boys Show. What's going on? This is Drip Every day. Oh, hey, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, we got a special guest in the place to be. Oh, yeah, we do. He uh, confirmed that he didn't confirm he, <laughs> earlier. So we're going to sing it song. Come on. What time? Come on. Well, it's the Baker, baby. It's the Baker Boys in the morning. In the morning. It's the Baker Boys. And we got a special guest for you. What up, what do you up, prefer what up, what up? do you prefer comedian? Do you prefer actor? Well, as Gee Tootie in a place to be got kicked out of Trump University. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I didn't grab it by the hoo-ha, so they kicked me out of Trump University. And there you go. I prefer just comedian, really. Com- comedian? That's, the, that's the girl that brought me to the dance. That's man. the girl that so, brought you to the dance, of course. Yeah, so you know, comedian, actor, actor, comedian, yeah. you know. What's been care. what's been your favorite role to do on on, on a film so well, far that and, you've been? The movie isn't out yet. But it's coming out. I played a role. Um, the movie's called Deep Butt. I played Beyonce's thong. You say Deep. Um, <laughs> it was it was it was it was a hairy role, but I sweated it out. <laughs> and that's my favorite role of all time I to like this it. day. I like Did it, it smell like Jay Z? Did uh, it smell like Jay Z? Yeah. Uh, smell like <laughs> smell like uh, <laughs> peaches and cream. I <laughs> know, oh, man. It's uh, I have to say it's a tie, man. I would say for comedy life. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that was the, working with, you know, Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence yeah. and Bernie Mac. Some of the I mean, greats, man. geniuses, man. Yeah. And then for drama, I would have to, I would have to say American History X. You Bro, know, Ed you killed it in that movie. That was, I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, man, that movie was great. Your role was That was before amazing. I got my teeth fixed, too. Oh, that yeah, was, yeah. That was pre-teeth. 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 Yeah, you know. How, how these... has your life changed since the teeth? Man, I smile now more. <laughs> more confidence. People invite me to places right, and like, stuff. Yeah. I look like the Cleveland Indian now. I smile like the Cleveland Indian, man. <laughs> you got those Tom Ford glasses on, too. Man, you know, yeah. you know, a yeah, little, little something, something, a little something, something. <laughs> if I'm going to look like a nerd, I'm look like an expensive rich nerd. Yeah. You know? They give you no trouble on the streets, man. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm from the streets, but I ain't street. Yeah, I got you. Same here. So we From have- the street, but I ain't street. No, I ain't going to bust a crate. We have Guy Tory in the studio, comedian, actor, extraordinaire. Um, I got a question for you because, you know, me and Nick are brothers, and you have a brother as well. I have two. You have two, but everybody knows Joe. Right. And, yeah. My older brother, Joe Tory, comedian, actor as well. Uh, he's like buff. He's yeah. like built and all that. What happened? Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Did he get beat up or something? I, no, no. I, I work on. I work out on the inside. I keep oh. all my buffness on the inside. Oh, okay. See, I'm confident. Reverse he's cocky. Buff. It's different between right. being arrogant, being cocky, being confident. See, cocky is like you know you got a you know a, a long one. And 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 you and, and a good body, you walk around naked with your thing out. Right. You know that's cocky. Okay. And arrogance is okay. You you got your pants on, but you got a six pack and a chest. So you're like, yeah, I'm showing it off. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm arrogant. Confidence is you got all that, but you got a tuxedo on. Nobody okay. have to know. That's Just right. to yourself. That's right. So I'm the one. I work it on the inside, man. Right. But right. Joe's big bro, man. Yeah, and that's sure. why I always want to be opposite because we always got kind of like mistaken for one another. Right, you know what I'm saying. How is that when he has the muscles and you have the tuxedo? Because people just see the face. (laughs) (laughs) I was like that tuxedo. (laughs) Because people just see the face. Like I got Sean and Marlon Wayans mixed up for years. Yeah, yeah. You know, until I really got to know him, know him. Okay, so he's your big brother. So he started uh, the comedy first. First, yeah. He he moved out to L.A. first when he was funny because he moved out at 23. Uh, my older brother moved out. My other other brother moved out at 23. He's not in the business at all. And then I moved out at 23, not knowing, you know, we all moved out to wow. LA age, at yeah. 23. But he moved out and started doing stand up first. Okay. And acting first. And, and you know, I got bit by the bug. I moved out here to, to finish school. And uh-huh. then I stepped on stage and it was like, okay. What were you going to school for? Marketing. Marketing. Oh, yeah, man, marketing. And I got kicked out. I had a couple of fights with some police officers. Uh, Why? Because you're putting up stickers. It's like, it's like <laughs> right, bro, right? I, I go to school nah. for marketing. What do you think? This is street <laughs> right. marketing, bro. I ain't street. No, I punched a cop in the face, man. Oh, okay. Oh, bro. And they kicked me out the whole town. They told me I couldn't come within 100 miles of that town. What city was have this? You been back Cape there? Toronto, Missouri. Have you been back? Which is only 109 miles out of St. Louis. <laughs> have you been back since? I've been back. Come on, man. Just tell me you're your brother. You're fine. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm Joe. I'm 
I'm Joe, man. I'm I, Joe. Uh, yeah. That's you know what? what? He did that to me. Joe did that to me he, in St. Louis, man. He got pulled over for uh, speeding or going down the one way the wrong way. Yeah. And 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 I don't know how he knew my social security number, but he knew it and he gave them my driver's license number because back in St. Louis, it was your social security number as your driver's license. Wow. Oh, and he gave me, I had points on my damn license <laughs> because on his because he didn't have his. That happened to Eric V once. Really? Yeah, it did. Yeah, Eric not, v, let's not get started. Eric, Eric V didn't have a license and he got something in the mail from uh, what was it Eric that desert town Palm Springs Palm Springs Palm Springs is like Eric Vidal ticket for jaywalking <laughs> or illegal substance indecent exposure indecent Damn. exposure oh my god <laughs> All, so Eric, that was just your face <laughs> yeah, exactly but it, but it wasn't Eric it, Eric was like 13 14 years old yeah. he didn't even have a license then wow so somebody uh somebody you, used my stuff <laughs> somebody got you son That's the first time we had to go we had to go to Palm Springs to clear his name and go to court and all that <laughs> yeah man you know, yeah. it was tough. Back Man, in my well, hood. I mean, any chance to get out of Beckerfield is right. go anyways. <laughs> but they're both very, very hot, so yeah. Where are you originally from? You know what? i am be honest with you. I was born in Northern California. I was born in Monterey, California. Monterey. Army brat. Okay. Right? And then, you know, my, my dad came back from Vietnam all kind of messed up and crazy. Yeah, so yeah. my mom was like, we out. Yeah. So we went to New York for a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom didn't like how we was growing up in New York, so we were fighting Brothers and Puerto Ricans all day. Yeah. So then we moved to St. Louis. So that's where, you know, the whole Midwest St. Louis thing come from. Yeah. We have Guy Tory in the studios to make a voice. Yeah, man. Seven after the hour, we're talking about all kinds of good stuff. I want to find out from you before we're going to take a break, but I want to find out from you what's the craziest thing because brothers do things. Man. You know, Nick V has done some crazy stuff to me. And yeah. it told told me thing. I hate bringing this story, but it's Man, like the best it's the story. Only ever. Story you got, bro. It's, 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 one, <laughs> hey, it's one of the best stories. Let's hold on to it. We'll do brother stories after this. Yeah, I got a ton. Yeah, I got I got another seven <laughs> yeah. hours. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on with the, the great, the legendary yeah, Tom sure. Jones, the fly jock, man. I, I so, heard that uh, no Tom doubt. is getting ready to uh, he's gonna retire, to retire, man. man. He's going yeah. to turn in his wings, yeah. man, after next year. Not this year, but next uh, December 2019, he's he's hanging it up. Oh, man, yeah. he's had a great career. Man, doing what? That for a long time. Crazy. Man. He's like in Crazy. so many markets, man. I mean, Tom been doing radio since the beginning. Like, yeah. like he, he broadcast The Last Supper. Like, that yeah. was him. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Him and Jesus. Him and Jesus, Peter, yeah. turn, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. He had the Turntables, yeah, there. The turntables, yeah, yeah, all that. Back yeah. with all the colonists, huh? back with all the colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, did I tell you, V, everything you say in this room will be used against oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. They're putting you on the spot. Hey, I'm telling you, these guys right here, I, I go back with these guys. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm learning a lot more as I'm co-hosting oh, with yeah, them. Yeah, you got to watch what you say. <laughs> yeah. Because it's going to end up. They, yes. they, they, they're always on. She told us earlier that she don't have a gag reflex. Wow. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you get a hangover he's, and you wait, have he's to really, he's really looking at you like, damn. Wow, you're an angel. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, That's what, what they tell me. He's like, what you doing I'm after this? about to get this? out on one knee. Like, <laughs> he's, like, yeah. he's like, what you doing after this? You know this? what? I have a gag reflex. <laughs> That's a good I do. thing. I'm, and I'm going to tell, tell you how. I have a gag reflex. Show us. Let me tell you, no. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm going to tell you how I know, though. I'm going to tell you how I know. How do you know? I lost my voice one time, and I was getting ready to go on tour, so I had to go see a specialist called an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what they do is they spray this numbing spray in the back of your throat. Right. Then they stick this camera down your throat right. to see what's going on. I'm black. I support black business. I went to a black doctor, and the uh -huh. Negro ran out of numbing spray. <laughs> I'm going on the road the next day. I ain't got time for this crap to come in. So he's like, oh, just, 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 you know, just kind of just clench and just, uh, I'm going to stick this camera down there. So he's sticking it down my throat. I'm gagging. I'm, 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 I'm I had drool running down my mouth. My stomach muscles tighten up. I'm going like to do from 300. Sparta! And then, man, so, I, so women, I'm going to tell you right now, I will never push your head down again. Now, fellas, let's take it from a man who's straight, who knows how that feels. Yes, yes. Don't do that. Don't be pushing the woman's head yeah. down. It's not sexy. I'm like, when you're doing that and they're gagging and their mascara running, they look like, they look like Alice Cooper, oh. it is not sexy. So from now on, it's just hands-free. Hands-free. Now that's respect. Either, Bluetooth head. Bluetooth either that, head now. You can either do that or buy that numbing, numbing spray. I was trying, you know what? You can't buy it. That's the thing. It's, you can only, only get it. Doctors. Only for the doctors. Black I, market. Black market. That's what I'm saying. If, I could, if we, could, we could corner the market, fellas, if we could get, get our hands on a truckload of numbing spray yeah. and just go by clubs there and just like slang numbing spray for the back of the throat. Everybody's yeah. gonna have Do you a good know time. we would get our own Wait. star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame? We gotta Do think you? of a name of the the the, the, the product though. What would it be called? Like what would the V? The, 
V. <laughs> What's your name? V. V. Right? v? Call v, the, v. v. The plug. I got That's this V. I got this V. I got, got that V. I got this V. On the street. Hey man, V hot on the street, man. And she she be gagging dude, on you. No, dude, spray this down you. her throat. <laughs> Do you know how many marriages we'll keep together? There True. you are. True. Do you know Offset would have never put the stuff right. in pool <laughs> if he had the if he had V. This is for the greater good, I'm guys. I'm telling you, it's for the greater good. <laughs> this is why I'm here. This is why I'm here. That's right, V. I'm telling you. So right. you gotta get us a truck, V. Get us a truck with nummy spray. Nummy right. spray. That's I'm your work on that's it. your journey right now. My next nummy assignment. Spray. They keep giving me assignments, so yeah. I guess this is the next one. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> that's what happens when you wear Christmas hats with lights on it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have Guy Tori in the studio. It's the Baker Boys. 14 after the hour. Thank you for tuning on in. Now let's get into crazy stories of brothers. Brothers. Brother talk. Ooh. So I will tell the quick story, and I tell it all the time. It's but it's it's pretty screwed up. I want to see if your brother has ever done anything like this. I've already to you. apologized several times. It's okay. By the way. It's, this is for for you know for radio, radio purposes. Go yeah. for it. Go ahead. All right. It, so man. there was a girl in Bakersfield that liked me. All mm. right. She was trying to talk to me. She was telling other people that she liked me. So I started talking to her. Started talking to her. All right. And then later, Nick V comes to me. He's like, Hey, why are you talking to her, man? She's 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 not even hot. She looks like a Cabbage Patch doll. Oh. Da, 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 all this stuff, right? <laughs> right? So I'm starting. He, so he gets in my head. Right. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe she does. She's not that, you know, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So I stopped talking to her. Later come to find out that Nick V is trying to talk to her. Are you serious? So he salted brother? me to get to her, the Cabbage Patch doll. What? Has your brother ever done anything so cold to you? No. <laughs> but... <laughs> I've because my brother and I would get mistaken for each other a lot. Uh, that okay. that you know I've been making love to women and they would yell out his name. Oh. Oh. Like 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 they they was below his standard, so they they I guess they settled for me. Yeah. You know, because I wasn't as famous and as you know he got the body with the muscles. Right. I got a gut that I hope gets dementia and wanders right. off and never come back. So. so <laughs> So yeah, I've been a few times that you know Joe's name been yelled out in the in the middle of making love with. So, but I didn't care. I was you know when she in it, you in it. So Joe probably got some babies out there that's really mine. That he taking care of playing child support on some of my kids. So I got the last laugh actually. Okay, because you know I don't have any kids. My pineapple game is way too strong. There you go. Oh my God, where can everybody Thank find you? Like where can they follow you on media. Instagram? Social, Social media. media, man. At Guy Tory, man. G U Y T O R R Y on Twitter and. On Instagram, man, and I also do two shows on Dash Radio as well. There you go. Um, uh, uh, third Degree Radio. Okay. On every Monday from uh, ten to twelve. Okay. On Monday mornings, ten to twelve, with Big Trady from the East Side, Trady, DJ yeah. Cell, and Cognac the XO. Okay. Then I just started a new show on Dash Radio Thursdays from seven to nine, seven to eight. I'm sorry, on Dash Radio Talk X Channel, and that's the Thirty One Cent Show. It's me and three girls. And, and and me. So 31 cents, three dollars and a penny, because I ain't worth a damn. There you go. <laughs> Guy Tori in the studio. We're coming back with more. It's the Baker Boys. Yeah. 816 in the morning. Boys. Uh, See, past the hour. This is the Baker Boys show. Mm-hmm. We have a special guest in the house. He goes by the name of Mr. Guy Tori. Guy Tori in a place to be. He got kicked out of Trump University. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, uh, we got a chance to hang out with you in Miami, right? Did yeah, you come man. To Miami? Yeah, man, it was so cool doing the improv in Miami, man, and, and then going to the radio station and seeing a, a, a taste from, of Southern California. Familiar face, yeah. Yes, and then, you know, got a PlayStation out of it. I got a PlayStation yeah, J- out of it, man. Jay love was talking about that. Did he give you a PlayStation? Yeah, PlayStation, man. Yeah, I was just getting into, like, PlayStations and stuff. So I was like, cool, Damn. what? Yeah, I want to do more. It up. So, so, of course, when I came today... Yeah, you know, you, I was thinking. You was expecting a was PlayStation, expecting a, something. You know, <laughs> flat screen. I, I had a copy know. of a Hellfest for you. I got <laughs> a copy of Hellfest on DVD. I got you a Baker Boys hat. Hey, I'll take a Baker Boys hat, man. <laughs> yeah. I we already, I already stole the app. You already sold the what? The app that he told me about. Oh the yeah, other the day. sound cue. Yeah. He was looking at the sound cue. He's like, "What's that?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like because you know I'm 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 new on the producing side of the mm-hmm. radio part. You all been uh, been on air and behind the scenes and producing yourselves all the time. Yeah, right. but we we're we're new on the be funny scene, so maybe you can help nah, us. out. y'all been funny. Dog. That's, that's why y'all that's why y'all been around for so long. Yeah, I man. appreciate that. Not so love. Every year you got a little hiss, hiss coming up. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I, just, I know what it is. I know there you are. That's his that's his ankle monitor. Nah. <laughs> Hey, bro. <laughs> might be my heart monitor, bro. <laughs> that's your, my that's pace, your, my, they gave Michael maker. Flynn one, too. Michael Flynn got one right yeah. now, too. Damn. So, guys, Manafort Tori. got one. All Trump Everybody people got, got the anchor braces. They can't go nowhere. Nowhere. Let's talk about the history of Fat Tuesday here in Los Angeles yes. and the 
people that came out of that, you know, from being ex- exposed and having their first start there. Yeah, Fat Tuesdays was a comedy that I created back in 1995, man. Mm-hmm. Still P-H-A-T. Because what happened was after the riots, the Rodney King riots in 92, mm-hmm. the black comedy club that was in the hood, industry, industry could come into the hood to see, you know, black comedians. Right. Yeah. Right? So... After 90, you know, I got here in 92, 95, had a couple of credits under my belt, Def Comedy Jam and something else. And, you know, I saw a lot of talent getting overlooked. So I said, you know, let me, let me, let me bring the hood to Hollywood. Right. Let me, let me go to a comedy store, someplace they'll go to and scout black talent. So when I did it, man, it blew up and took off. So, so many comedians came through there and I'm doing a documentary on it that, uh, cause I have footage from back in the day, footage yeah. of Eddie Murphy being in the house That's and Richard nice. Pryor and, nice. and a young Chris Tucker and young Cat Williams. Nick Cannon was discovered at Fat Tuesdays. Oh. And uh, I did a movie called American Sex where they saw me at Fat Tuesdays. They saw Chris Tucker at Fat Tuesdays and put him in um, um, Fifth Element. So yeah. it's these comedians that came through you know, Fat Tuesdays that that are now box office successes now. I mean, Kevin Hart came to the this night didn't make these guys, right. but it was it was it, 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 it they got seen. There. It gave them a showcase. It gave them a showcase. Yeah, and I think that I they weren't and, getting uh, you know anywhere else really like that exposure yeah. exactly because Nick Cannon seen me like man I owe you. I was like you owe me for what? He said man I got discovered at Fat Tuesdays. I said bro you don't owe me nothing. I didn't write one joke. I right. didn't make one phone call. I didn't set up one meeting in your behalf. I gave you an opportunity. You did what you did with right. it. Right. And 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 no, I'm not, I can't take credit for that because if I take credit for that then I'm gonna take credit for a comedian who bombed went home and killed himself so Ooh, yeah. I ain't taking credit for that so I can't take credit for that yeah. so but it was more than just a comedy night man it was like a family reunion it was like a, 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 a the negro net it was before social media mm-hmm. and I packed it out every Tuesday for like 10 years that's man. crazy and 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 it was so now we're, they're doing a documentary man and so it's such a wonderful uh Thing, man, because I, I put blood, sweat, and tears, and I put blood, sweat, and divorce in it. Right, right. and divorce. Right. I got the yeah, man. You know. Damn. Yeah. That's so crazy. how do you feel now? now? Are you still single? Or are you? I'm uh, still single. Re- oh, yeah, I'm single. I don't know, man. You know what? The, 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 what, what, what my work schedule? I'm a workaholic first. Right. And a, a woman has to understand that that's sorry, but you're gonna be a very close second, second, or tied with number one because you know we're we're self employed. Mm-hmm. So we're we're HR, we're we're the talent, we're the accounting, the producer, basically, we're the all writer, the producer, everything, the actor. The right. On screen, off screen. Right. Well, you Pick- age really well because you don't, because you were talking about 90, 92, 95. Well, and I'll be I was 50 five next years month. old. You were five. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, gag reflection with a five year old. I feel dirty now. I feel like Woody Allen. Right, well, we go back to the priest thing. I'm like Mark Kelly now. You know? <laughs> yeah. I heard you talk about the priest earlier. I grew up Catholic and I was an altar boy for 10 years, untouched by a priest. Well, good for you. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you made that alive. And, and we had a priest named Father Greasy Dick. <laughs> it's, what, excuse talk. me What was his name Father Greasy Dick He was German Look Greasy it up Dick? His family his family owned Greasy Dick Beer No No seriously Greasy Dick Beer in, in the 70s In the Midwest It got bought up By Falstaff Beer But he was a, he, It was German okay. And if you If you google it right now Greasy Dick Beer Spelled G-R-I E-S-C-D-I-T-K Or whatever It's Greasy Dick Beer Wow The Greasy Dick Brothers Real talk <laughs> Can you imagine Being a priest in the 70s Well in this day and age Father Greasy Dick Named Father Greasy Dick <laughs> Is there anything I can get you, Father Greasy Dick? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I a, mean, it sounds like Greasy Dick. That's yeah, all, that sounds yeah. like a porn. Go, see, Google it. Producer Google name. it. G R E what it? G R E I or I E. Greasy. Dick. If you put it in, yeah, it come yeah, up. Greasy yeah, Dick I'll beer. Look it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my sounds god. Sounds like a porn producer for <laughs> some. Right. I know. Right. Directed by. He probably had a twin brother who was a porn producer. He was a Catholic priest. He probably was a, <laughs> his, his evil twin brother was a porn producer. It's twenty five past hour Baker boy. Did you show. find it, V? I, I got Papa Joe Greasy Dick. <laughs> I think that was the, the bit who got his, his people who owned the beer. <laughs> Put the images oh and look God. at the bottom. What? Image, okay. Yeah, on images. YouTube. Come on, you oh millennial. My God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. We have Guy Tori in the studio. It's the Baker Boys. All right. So the, your Fat Tuesday thing. Back to that for a second. When is that uh, documentary going to be coming out? We just started pre-production right now. Okay. So we're going through footage. I got hours and hours of footage right. from That's back awesome. in the day and pictures and photos and things like that. But she brought up me aging well. Next month I turn fifty. Wow. Yeah. I'm, fi- I'm fifty going on millennial. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, I'm fighting a good fight. Double but I'm millennial. Doing Double, double millennial. Double millennial. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I'm there double you. millennial. Times two. Times two. That means I'm, I'm high and lazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and creative. The thing I love about the millennials, man, it, this is millennials get a lot of flack from my generation. Mm-hmm. And gener- I'm Generation X. Why, yeah. do you, generation why, do you think, why do you think they get a lot of flack? I think it's just jealousy. Cause, jealousy. Because first of all, I mean, I wish I was that young again. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, but if you look at the millennials, man, they don't wait on anybody. And right. when I say that is like, Listen to what we're doing right now. We're doing a radio show 
Even though you're not millennials, but still, this this technology is here. Yeah, you don't have to wait on one of these big companies to come True. and 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 give you oh. a show. Nick but, but been also, saying that. And also with these the artists now, you can you can you can they're shooting movies and and, and sketches on their phones yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. They're not waiting for Hollywood to ring their damn phone. No, nope. Hollywood looking for them now. Yeah, and not, them not looking for Hollywood. So what the millennials have done and said, you know what, I'm gonna use this technology to promote myself. Yep. So forget being True. lazy and waiting on people. I, but now they now. Some of them don't put in the work that we had to, right? Because when we had to go research stuff, we had to go to the library, right? right. They just pick up their phone now and Google's Google right there. Everything. Like she's got a greasy dick in her hand, right? right. Now. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She didn't have to go to the library to, greasy, to get a greasy dick. Yeah, for it's sure. right in her hand right now. <laughs> Let's talk about the guy Tory Roast. Guy Tory Roast, man, it's going to be uh, uh, January 11th. My birthday's the 12th. We're going to be at the Novo, downtown LA, LA Live, yeah. man. I got Jamel Hill from ESPN hosting. Okay. Oh, nice. I got my brother, Joe Torre. I got Tony Rock. I got Sex Entertainer. I got Nick Cannon. Nice. Um, uh, that's it, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Uh, Michael Blackston. So, and, and a whole bunch of other comedians, man, that's going to come through and roast my black big Open to the hide. public, huh? Uh, tickets on sale, yeah. You okay. go to Novo, the Novo, uh, or access.com, A-X-S.com. Get your tickets and... And so I'm gonna sold out. So the, go down. For, don't forget to use the special code to get the discount. What greasy dick. Yeah, greasy, greasy dick. dick. <laughs> <laughs> but well, was I lying, V? Did you put in? You didn't put That's in greasy. In. You, no, no, no. You put in something else. I don't know what you put in. Greasy dick. Man, no, but that's not. That's not what I told you to put in. <laughs> Damn millennials don't. <laughs> Green. Plug Talk is coming up next, 28 past the hour. Uh, Guy Tory, thank you so very much for coming yeah, in. Man. Hey, man, Thanks I appreciate through, y'all, bro. man, always. Man. Anytime, anytime, man. Anytime, same here. Man. Thanks, same. Thank hey, we, you for we coming gotta be We got to be there for the, uh, the, the roast, bro. We got yes. to. Yes. Yeah, 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 you got, I got your numbers. You yeah, got yeah. mine. So I got yeah. you. Yeah, I got you. I Make got sure you to confirm with them, please. Yeah, I'll confirm. Now, can you confirm with me, V, that that I wasn't? It is. It is on here. And what is it? It's a beer. It looks like a beer. Yes. And it says, Greasy Dick Bros. Wow. This is he brothers. Yeah. Told you. Yeah, he wasn't lying. Ain't no fake lying. news. Ain't no Trump, no <laughs> Fox News. He ain't lying. Fake news. This is you are fake news. This is GNN. <laughs> GNN. That's the Guy News Network. <laughs> I love it. Stay tuned. Make sure to follow him at Guy Tory. At Guy Tory, y'all. Love you, brother. Thank you. Love y'all. Thank man. you for coming through, brother. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a boy. Radio, how it's supposed to be heard. It's the Baker Boys Show. What's going on? This is Drippin' Every f- day. Oh, boy.